Uh, I have the pleasure to, to tell you a little about our uh, action plan. Uh, if you change, I have put the, the presentation in two parts. First, I'll try to provide some arguments and evidence for why we need an action plan. And then the second part, I'll present uh, the action plan and some of the activities and ambitions outlined in it. Uh, it is an action plan for all our employers, but as challenges are more uh, urgent for academic staff, uh, the focus is primarily on this group. Uh, let's uh, go to why we need some of the arguments for why we need an action plan at uh, Aarhus University. If you would change the slide. Um, first of all, uh, diversity is uh, an explicit and important part of our university strategy. Our long term goal is to have the highest quality of research, education, and collaboration with the surrounding society. And to achieve the highest quality, there's no doubt that we also need to be able to both recruit and retrain. Uh, the most skills from the total talent uh, pool. So to succeed, we need an action plan because it is apparent that we have some underlying challenges that I will uh, show you a couple of examples of. If you will take the next slide, please. Um, this slide, you probably know very well, many of you. It shows that if you see the proportion of men and women it's about equal at the PhD level, but when we come to the professor level, uh, you see that there's a big gap. As Brian said, we can, uh, it, it's good to have had some progress from 19 to 23% uh, of female professors. And of course it takes time, but what worries me a lot is when I look at the, the pipeline uh, if you see at the assistant professor level, uh, we had almost equal 49% women in 2016. Today, it has dropped to 41%. So we really need to do something about this. Uh, if you look at the leadership, the management level, you will see that it's almost standing still. We uh, have dropped in the number of department heads is now 11% are women. Uh, vice deans, deputy directors, it's about one in four and one in five, uh, as it was four or five years ago. Uh, when we go to the far end of the, the, the spectrum, we have center leaders that is apparent right now no. And women among those, it's, it's a small number, so 1% makes a difference. As you can see also, if we look at the senior management team, where we <clears throat> recruited a director of, of uh, uh, innovation and enterprise, uh, and, and therefore uh, we, it, it, the, the proportion rose from one in seven uh, women to two in nine women. We still have not had a rector, a female rector in the history of all university. We have had very few deans. So again, I think we have a challenge that we have to do something about. Uh, if you take the next slide, I also want to, to, to point your attention to how do we have a, an attractive workplace. I think that is part of the, the, the key to, to success in this area. And if we, in, in 2019, as part of, of the, um, the, the regular workplace assessment, uh, all employers got 20, 36 questions. And of these, there was a significant difference in satisfaction among men and women on 17 questions, where men expressed high satisfaction in 14 out of 17 questions. And here you just have a few uh, of these, but of the respondents, men were more content with the future prospects of their job. They reported less stress and they seemed more satisfied with the way that department handles conflicts. So it, we really must work on, on, on the attractiveness of our workplace, not just to attract more women, but, but 
to remain and, and even increase the attractivity of, of a workplace that many of us think uh, is the most wonderful place to work, but, but we have a challenge. So to sum up of why we have to have uh, an, an action plan, uh, it shall help us uh, to, to, to reach our ambitions on our core task of research, education and collaboration. We have a challenge in gender distribution, as you just saw, both among the scientific staff and the management staff. And finally, also the workplace satisfaction. Uh, we see more challenges among female employers compared to men. So it is clear to me that we have challenges we need to overcome to reach what we all our ambitions. So this was just short, <clears throat> shortly about why. Then if we move to the how, do we get there? Then I want to start out saying that it takes a joint effort across the entire uh, organization. And we need bottom up as well as top down activities. These activities or some of them we have outlined in the action plan. It was created in collaboration with the entire uh, organization through a consultation process where all of you had the opportunity to, to give your inputs. Um, let's uh, just show we started out, if you show the next slide, um, by establishing a, a committee for diversity and equality. From each faculty, there was a management or leadership uh, representative and a representative from, from the academic uh, staff. And as we now have five faculties, uh, we will uh, make sure that, that all faculties are represented as well as our administrative staff. Um, and, and if you take the next slide, please, then you see that the first, um, the first uh, dra uh, draft uh, or, or task of the, the, the committee was to draft this new consultation plan. And as I said, uh, it was sent in consultation. Um, and as you can see, I think, don't think time allows for it, but, but there were many reactions, both from within the university as well as in the media. This is, as you said, Nune, uh, stuff that really can create a lot of, 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 of opinions and feelings. As we saw, there were both positive, but also a lot of negative reactions. Um, if you take the next slide, please. Um, then we have um, uh, this action plan outline our new approach to promote gender equality. We have strived to include uh, well-defined activities uh, with a clear division of, of, of labor, but we also have acknowledged, acknowledged that it must be uh, dynamic and allow for uh, possibilities to, to include adjustments and uh, incorporate new perspectives. Some of the uh, actions initiated in this period will uh, end uh, within the period, but a lot of them are really long time uh, actions. So uh, we uh, will this autumn uh, draft an, a, a new action plan for the period of, of 23 to 25. Um, just uh, the next, you will see that there are four uh, focus areas, as you also uh, heard uh, each of the following speakers will uh, take their point of departure in one of the areas. We have the uh, want to, to strengthen and raise our awareness of gender equality in all parts of the recruitment process. We want to improve career developments at all levels of the career ladder and create a more clarity about future career prospects for the individual. And then we want to, to assure that our leaders have a clear mandate to promote uh, gender equality uh, in, in, in their uh, job. And uh, finally, we want to create a work environment in which all staff uh, have equal uh, opportunities to, to uh, show their potential. Um, if you take the, the last slide, um, you see that each focus area has three activities and examples. And just to show a few, a very short, short uh, 
examples, we have tighter norms for recruitment as one. We already have tight uh, norms, but, but now we have made sure that, that there is a focus on gender equality throughout the whole recruitment uh, process. Another example is how uh, gender equality is now signed into the contract and, and has to be a part of the dialogue that any leader has with his or her leader. And finally, I want to, to point to the very important part of workplace culture. This is really where things have to, 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 to uh, change. And we will kick off this with workshops for on gender equality uh, in all our leadership forums, also to raise awareness of, of un, uh, unconscious bias. Uh, but this is a uh, work in progress. It is important that we continue to seek inspiration for how we can solve uh, these problems. And that is also why we today have the uh, invited four external speakers who each will take their departure in one of the four uh, areas and share their knowledge and uh, experiences and examples on possible solutions. I'm sure that uh, this will inspire us for even more chasing activities. Thank you.